discussing some of the modifiers in 3D Max. So before the modifiers, I'm giving you an exercise to do. We are making a football, okay? The football shape is a little complicated, right? Soccer ball, right? See, the shape is a little complicated. It's complicated means you different, different patches, right? This kind of patches is there in football. So uh, how can we make this? This is a complicated shape. It's not a, a default shape, it's custom made shape, right? So we need a lot of modifiers to use this one. So you will understand when I'm doing this one, how to use this kind of modifiers and what is the purpose we are using these kind of modifiers. So the first, we are starting with these shapes. Uh, when you see the football shape, so you will think that is this what we're going to do usually do with the spherical shape because football is a spherical shape. But when you do with the spherical shape, what's the problem? Uh, see the shape is triangle here. So the patches, of course, I cannot extrude from here. I cannot uh, uh, extract that kind of patches, okay? That's having five side rights for that patches. So we are using uh, extended primitive. Two times I will be showing to you. First times I will explain to you everything. Each and every modifier is what and, and why we are using and how we are using. And second time I will show you one more time quickly. Step by step, quickly will be. You know, so you, when you want to follow the video, you can follow the next one. But to understand, we will do the first time. Okay, so I'm using the basic primitives for the for the soccer ball or football, which is Hedra. Hedra, when you create, you're getting like this kind of a shape. But Hedra has many other shapes. Tetra is the default shapes now. But I'm changing to dodec icons. Dodec icons. When you do dodec icons, you will get something like this. Okay. In this one, there are family parameters. There are two parameters, P and Q. It's like X and Y, right? So when you adjust this one, you see the patch we are getting almost okay. Okay. This is extra again. If you want to extrude it, we are doing this Q. So Q is zero. Only P we going to adjust it. 31, 32, almost you see one smaller, one bigger will be the almost 32, fine. Then the first step, step itself, I want to make this all separate, separate pieces. Then only this passes, I can extrude it separate, separate. To make separate, separate, convert editable poly. Of course we do convert editable poly. Then which one you want to make separate all edges. So choose the edges and select this all edges. Then if you come down, there is an option called split. Split, split. In edit edges like extrude and all the right. Same like we have a split. When you click split, what happened? After that, when you select this polygon, you, you see this, I can take it out. Because this is all extracted, separate, separate. Then we will choose polygon all. Remember, you need to select polygon and what I'm going to do, I want to convert this one to a spherical shape. This is not proper spherical shape, here is a flat now. If I want to make this as a spherical shape, I need divisions on this. If I don't have divisions, I won't be able to make to a sphere shape. So this divisions, you cannot do straight line like this. So we are using one modifier name is called tessellate modifier, tessellate. So select the polygon, then click on tessellate. You see a lot of divisions comes on it. And this is triangle, this is quadrangle. So we need always square, quadrangle. The choose iterations value is one. Now, when you increase this one, number of divisions will be increasing. So I, I prefer to do two now because we're going to do later again smooth. So now what happened? We got division. Now to get this one to a spherical shape, we have a modifier we are using, spherify, spherify modifier. So it becomes spherical shape now. Now, if you convert this one to editable poly, this all will disappear, okay? Then if you select this one edges by edges, you can see I can select like this edges by edges. But if I choose element, element, when I was discussing first the basics of this vertexes and all, I told you element with some exercise, I will show you practically. I already split it. So which one I split it, that group will select if you choose element. This is one shape, this is one shape like that, okay? To select that one. So now, I selected this polygon only. I selected all the polygon, but if I'm extruding now, it will be extruding based on element, okay, the part by part. And of course, this one, you're gonna use it, local normal, sorry, local normal. I think I lost that, local normal. Then this value, when you extrude, you know, you're getting extra. So what I need, I need this gap as well as I need to 
scale to inside also. So extrude, if I do it, I need to do it one time, then I need to scale it to inside. Again, I need to continue. So instead of that, I'm using bevel. Hope you remember bevel option. Bevel is same like extrude only, but it can extrude as well as I can control this gap also. So I'm using bevel and just give a small gap. See how much is the width? This much. And now the gap you're gonna give it small. So you get like this. Now you do usually what we do, what is the option we use for smooth? Mesh smooth. So you click on mesh smooth. But now there's a small problem. You can see there's a black color over here. So in mesh smooth, there is subdivision method is there. Okay. So here is a NEPS you change to classic. So this all it just will be proper way, it will be connecting inside. Now you have to select this one, use a material. M is the shortcut to material. Select one material to this, choose one color first. Then you go to converted table poly, choose element, select one by one element in between here. Go to modify, sorry, material, assign any other color. You see what color you want. Now you can, after finishing, you can select the objects, it will go together. Okay, I explained to you all the modifier. Now I'm showing you one more time, this you can follow if you study to do it one more time. Now I already set everything. So when you choose head draw, automatically the codec icons will be visible, okay? So if you want to reset this one, when you, you go, you can go to file and reset it. Click on reset it. Then don't save now, yes, reset. Now this all will be, when you're taking head draw, it become like new. Extended primitives, you see, this comes straight through. So otherwise this all settings will stay there, okay? So first I go to create, okay, geometry. Extended primitives, choose Hedra. Okay, so this Hedra we want to do dotac icons, dotac icons. Then the speed you're going to adjust almost 31 to 32. You see the shape is getting okay. You can stop there. Convert editable poly. Choose edges. Select all the edges, and use split option, which is down. Split edges. Okay, it is an under edge split. Now it is split already. Choose polygon now, all polygon. To make division, tessellate modifiers we are using, tessellate. And this one should be polygons, okay? This is faces, or you can see triangle and square. Then choose iterations value more to increase the divisions on it. Use next modifier is called spherify modifier. Spherify to get spherical shape. After that, convert editable poly. Convert editable poly, choose polygon, select all the polygons, click on bevel option, make how much you need to extrude it, choose that, how much you need to show the gap between you show that. Okay. Then select it, use mesh smooth, mesh smooth, choose subdivision method classic, done. Convert editable poly, choose First, you select material, material, assign, choose one color, because white, I choose the prior color. Then choose element, randomly pick from here between. Choose, assign. Assign and choose the color which you want. Okay. Let's start to practice this.